Hello everyone! Today I'm receiving the car that I recently purchased on Copart auction. It's 1996 Mercedes S600 sedan. I'm, uh, I want to use this car as a parts car and my plan is to strip it for parts for my Mercedes so I will have more spare parts and the parts that I cannot use or do not want to use I am going to sell it on Mercedes forum uh, eBay like whatever so the driver said the driver from the transportation company he said he is probably like five ten minutes from me so let's see what he brings today and here we go the Mercedes S600 slightly damaged on the back uh, yeah on the pics on the on the pictures on copart it has probably more parts like the side mirror I will see probably it's a gamble for me maybe I will lose more money than I strip from this car I will see all right let me get close to it I'm already behind so this is Mercedes it doesn't start that's what I was told and uh, maybe it has more missing parts than I thought now we're trying to uh, hook the jump starter to see if we can uh, bring it back to life because otherwise it will be hard to even remove it from the ramp no start so the engine couldn't be started it's going to be a fun day all right so we just pushed the car from the ramp as you can see it has some damages uh, I mean multiple dents uh, engine doesn't start so <laughs> one mirror cover is there I mean I don't know how much I I will be able to strip from this car who knows maybe less than I initially thought at least something something is still there we'll see so this is the car the driver already left and uh, let me walk around and show you all damages so there was obviously front damage here the bumper uh, the fender uh, the headlight uh, what else multiple dents on the body okay so let's walk around first so multiple dents on the body uh, the trunk which probably somebody tried to uh, vandalize it I don't know on the rear uh, no on the right side there is no uh, no uh, side mirror well as you can see it's already gone but it's there it's on the front seat I'm not sure if you can see it from here uh, the windshield the windshield is also cracked uh, so this is the car I want to strip as much parts as I can for my 97 s600 all these pumps I mean if they are if they still work this is a question this is a gamble this is a question this is a gamble I don't know if anything works so we'll see to me it's a uh, uh, either I lose money or if I am lucky enough to salvage some parts then whatever it is whatever happens it happens so Mercedes S600 96 has almost 200,000 miles on it it's seen better days I mean it's it's pretty sad these cars end like this uh, on 
salvage yards on Copart, but it is what it is. All right, so now uh, my goal is to park it in my garage and then proceed later, not today, but sometime later, with checking what's going on with this car. Let me show you its interior. Interior. Uh, unfortunately, these seats, they are different from my 97 seats because everything is perforated. As you can see, perforated center uh, armrest. So, the steering wheel, it's, I mean, the plastic is gone. But we'll see, I mean, uh, what's going on here on the back? The back seats look decent. <laughs> Some tape here, tape there. Yeah, this, oh, and this mirror. So this car seen better days. So, uh, it's too early to, to uh, summarize this story, but uh, this is what you get when you purchase very, very used cars from Copart. This is what you get. Unfortunately, on Coparts they list everything as run and drive. Maybe it was when they brought it. I don't know when this car was actually brought to Copart, but uh, when it was delivered today, the engine, it was cranking, but didn't start. I don't know why. 140 is 140. Even damaged 140, it's still 140. It's a gorgeous vehicle. Absolutely gorgeous vehicle. The car is beautiful. Unfortunately, it's, it's damaged. And unfortunately, it will be stripped for parts, but it's a beautiful car. I mean, it's one of those cars that Mercedes built in 90s. And it's great, it's beautiful. Look at this body, 140. Poor 140, this particular one. All right, fellas, I was able to uh, replace the battery in this car. Uh, unfortunately, the battery was dead. Let me show you something. The soft closure works. No. You see? It works. Titans. Titans. Let me see if I can start the engine. All right, and this is the moment of truth. Let's see if I can start this vehicle or not. I don't know what are those things on the left and right of the speedometer, but something is beeping. Hmm. It starts and then it stalls. Oh. It gives me all kind of issues here. I feel something, some smell, is, I mean some, not smell, I also feel some smell, like some burning smell, I don't know what is it. Uh, what is, something is beeping. I don't know, what is beeping? At least I can move the steering wheel up and down. Jesus. Huh. My seat moves. So something is still working. The doors, maybe locks, but uh, this is how it came, but I'm not able, and some people installed, I mean, they screwed this cup holder to the door. I mean, it's leather. 
wires so dumb just to put five screws here through the leather I mean whoever did it they are like I am speechless and something is buzzing here I don't know what is it This thing doesn't work because nothing happens when I press this, when I pull. Yeah, nothing happens. And something is buzzing here. I don't know what is it. Oh. Yeah, this car is a total mess, I guess. So let's try to start it one more time. I can't even turn this thing. Something is still buzzing here. All right, one more time. Wow. 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 It started. Man. It started! Oh my god! It started! Shit! There was a huge smoke from the back. I can feel it. Wow! I was able to start it. Jesus! So smelly. Let's see what still works here. All right. By the way, this thing is damaged too, unfortunately. smells so bad man it smells so bad by the way here I want to park this car here and then start working on its like on removal of everything you see the smoke Jesus Alright, let's let me park the car and I have some lights here. ESP, ABS and uh, the bulb. Okay, ESP, ABS, which is sucks, which sucks. Because my own car also has issues with A ESP and ABS and I was hoping to get uh, everything. I mean, I was hoping to get some parts, <laughs> to get ESP, ABS parts from this one but I think I think it's done yeah it sucks it just sucks but we'll see I mean at least the pump still works the door uh, the door sucks in yeah the rear one Yeah. No. Too hard. Yeah. Great. All right. Let me park this car in the garage, and I will call it a day. All right. So, this is the very last portion of this video. I was able to park this car in the garage. This car is a total mess. Now I know it. Um, now I just hope I can strip as many parts as I can. And then and then send it to junkyard uh, some parts I will use for my car some I will try to sell online um, unfortunately electronics they're just gone uh, 
like some like like I mean the a, a lo lots of things they're gone lots of things probably needs to be fixed this is probably a bad experience but uh, we'll see I mean where else you can find a white W140 Mercedes and soon I don't know how soon but soon it will be sitting in the junkyard we'll see I'm a bit busy um, at this moment but I guess uh, I will try to strip it within a few months like or several months and then I will empty this garage uh, from this car this is it so let's start working on the stripping of this car i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching guys